Today, I really want to test this desktop commander MCP. This is pretty much like an MCP of someone that can use your computer. I've really been looking for something like this. I wanted something that can actually do like proper OS use, like click buttons, navigate the GUI. I don't think this does that, but it does have amazing features. Let's have a look. Features, enhanced terminal commands. Being able to run terminal commands already unlocks so much. Execute code in memory. This is really big too, because sometimes stuff that you want to run is better suited as a script rather than just one command, or it's like a series of commands. And being able to execute that in memory just frees up a lot of um, tool calls. You don't have to create files to run them. Um, I've seen agents do a lot of uh, scripts inside a command, which is possible, but like, I think being able to have script, potentially scripts, um, would be really cool. I'm, so I'm really interested to try this. Instant data analysis, um, this is really cool. I work with spreadsheets sometimes and having something to make that easier would be great. So pretty interested in trying that. Um, interacting with running processes, also very big. I would also love to see network interaction or analysis, um, code editing, uh, audit logging, every tool call is logged. Like it just seems really robust. Um, it has over 4,000 stars and the devs seem to be pretty respected as well. So we're gonna give this a go. It's um, really easy to install, you know, just a single MPX uh, command. So we're gonna go into add server. We'll call this desktop commander. I should do JSON import. At the moment, we have to uh, manually copy paste this, but that should work. Let's add server and it will take a little while to initialize, I think, but once it does, this should go green. There we go, 21 tools for desktop commander. Um, amazing, I'm gonna turn off uh, Notion and GitHub just so we can test desktop commander. Now, we can also set the provider for what LLM. I'm using Grok3 Mini. I think this is like super cheap for how effective it is. Um, so yeah, but but obviously it's not as good as Sonnet 4 and stuff. So so if this fails, we will. I'll go try Sonnet 4. Can you find the folder called expenses on my desktop and then look at the CSVs inside of it and give me a summary? Okay, it has blocked commands. So this is like all the shit it can't do. Sudo, add user. Okay. Checking for expenses on desktop. It has trouble with the username. So that's, I mean, we could solve this with a uh, system prompt. But it always like recovers um, afterwards. Oh, it's starting a Python process. Damn, it's like an interactive Python thing. Okay, it's having some issue running these Python files to check the CSV. I was wondering if it had its own specific like CSV tool calls. That's kind of what I assumed from the GitHub. Doesn't look like any CSV specific uh, tool calls. It has issues importing NumPy. All the Python haters are getting justified here. But it's pretty cool how it can interact with uh, various processes by ID. Um, I did previously use a similar thing called headless terminal. Okay, it's not installed anymore, but yeah, headless terminal was also able to like run sub processes and interact with them through like sending keystrokes and stuff, which I thought was really cool. The way that this is doing Python through the interactive Python shell is is not ideal at all. So um, yeah, I'll give this another go with like Sonnet 4 and see, you know, is it the model or is it the prompt? Okay, we're on Sonnet 4 now, let's ask the same thing. Can you analyze the expenses folder on my desktop? What tool call is that process? Oh, it's using Python again. So when it said in memory Python, it just meant it'll run the interactive Python. I don't think that's a great solution as we can see, even with Sonnet 4, it's not very effective at all. Is that an error? Yeah, bad sub. Okay, so not the greatest outcome with desktop commander. I think I might give this one a pass in its current state. I like the simplicity of headless terminal. I think you can do a lot with just terminal. So 
That's probably the one I would prefer. I'm gonna uninstall this right here.